hi welcome back uh today in this video let's do a march favorites i know it's kind of late we're already in april the fourth month of this year um but i thought let's do it i have makeup body care skincare let's just do makeup first because i'm gonna get done with it then i have like two body care products and i have a lot of skincare this time um so yeah without any more further talking let's get right into the video first product is the romance kind and free moisturizing skin tint oh my god my love for this product runs deep i only remember using this for the past two months i believe not just march i think february march this is what i have used i have not even touched any other foundation or any kind of skin tints that i have because this product is beautiful man what a beautiful beautiful formula um i've shown this also in my trying new makeup video if you haven't watched it go watch it I have some really exciting products um that i've tried the shade that i'm in is 210 golden beige and this fits me like the shade match is so perfect for me um the formulation is what i just love about this it's so liquidy and runny okay this product i feel like skin tint which is actually a skin tint um so many other products are marketed as skin tint and they perform exactly like a foundation or something like that but this is exactly how a skin tint is supposed to be at least in my opinion one of the best skin tints i've ever used it's so beautiful on the skin um it's so it blends beautifully it just melts into your skin um perfect for dry skin i feel like this is gonna be perfect for dry skin but even if you have other skin types you can use it um but just know that this has a very glowy and a dewy finish this is all i'm gonna be wearing until i find something better than this and i don't think that's possible anytime soon um this is actually for 700 rupees and most of 700 rupees blah but um on sale you can get it for around 400 as low as 400 okay so when there are sales going on on nika please get this if you get your shade in there right now most of the shades are out of stock but if you can find your shade and if you can get it during the sale please get this i promise you're not going to regret one of the best base products i've used recently i want to quickly talk about these lipsticks these are the simply nam liquid lipsticks now i have always been the kind of person who's uh, very iffy about liquid lipsticks lipstick formulations um i'm more of a bullet lipstick person if i want uh to put on a matte lipstick i will um go for a bullet lipstick rather than a liquid lipstick but, but there are just a few lip liquid lipstick formulations that have my heart and this is one of them the other one being hero beauty um they have i think one of them is called their hydrating lip butter and the other one is called the comfort wear matte lipstick now i don't see any such difference between difference between these two formulations i've used them both and they almost feel the same i don't know why have they categorized into different uh they're basically the same for me and i have used one particular shade non-stop uh in march that is um this shade i think this is a new shade um hydrating it's, it's from the hydrating lip butter in the shade isha and it's almond pink now i love the pinks from this particular range um all of the shades that i have are pinks now whenever i have worn any one of these shades uh, the other one that i love is dolly if you watch my videos you know this is the shade i used to wear so much back in the day it's dolly it's a dusty pink that is from the matte liquid lipstick collection and whenever i've worn any of these shades i always get asked you guys always ask me what lipstick are you wearing it's this um if you see me wearing any kind of pink lipstick shade it is one of these apart from the beautiful shades that they have i feel the formulation of this is very very nice um it does not have the thin watery consistency that liquid lip liquid lipsticks have i feel like those kind of formulations really tend to dry out your lips mm, on my lips i currently have all of these three shades mixed i'm going to leave all the shade names in the description i have applied like three four layers of this lipstick and i still cannot feel any heaviness i cannot feel it being like uncomfortable or like drying my lips currently loving this liquid lipstick next is actually a combo uh it's by fay fay beauty um and it is their brush combo so they have two variants in this one one is their brush primer and the other one is a regular mascara so this this is something that they have that you can use on your brows and on your lashes as well i feel this is going to really work if you have sparse like spare eyebrows but for my eyebrows 
the I don't prefer using it on my brows and I never really cared about like lash primers and mascara primers very few brands does this and an Indian brand who does this is like really cool I feel um these are basically like primers like how you use a primer on your skin before makeup um lashes can be something like that for your lashes as well if you use your mascara this is supposed to um kind of be like a layer i remember liking this one the regular mascara the brush that they have a lot when i first use it and i still like it uh, which means it is a good product now this gives me really fluttery long lashes very very fluttery long lashes not something overly dramatic something uh like fluttering lengthening really lengthening really separating but also something that i can uh use on a day, like day to day basis it does not clump my lashes which is the number one thing for me you all know if you don't want to get the primer it's totally fine you can just go for the regular um brush and it's so good it's really, really good if you like those kind of lashes like something really lengthening and fluttery you will really like this mascara has like a wet formulation if that's something you need to take a note of this is one of the mascaras that i've used I remember using a lot and fair beauty as a brand i feel it's really really cool i really like it i personally really like it last makeup product is this lip liner from swiss beauty i think more than the formulation i really like the shade because this is exactly what i was looking for it's kind of a deep chocolate brown um very neutral brown like this and it just comes for like 50 rupees seen some people say that it's not the smoothest lip liner which i agree so just apply a lip balm before you put on this like way before you put on this and then after a while remove the lip balm and then use it it's way it applies and glides way more smoother but the pigmentation the shade is spot on for me so just a lip liner like a basic lip liner in the moment i cannot do without lip liners and this has been a staple in my everyday makeup routine you can give it a try okay let's do body care now i have two products to share with you this product i know it is summers now is the plums body oil vanilla vibes now this product i have not used it for one month two months i've used this all throughout winter for my body there's no summer there's no winter nothing my body is dry super dry and flaky all the time so i need something really really hydrating like a body oil so if you have that kind of a body if you go through the same thing then a body oil is really good and this one is something that smells yummy a, a very low effort kind of a product some body lotions with body lotions you have to work your way through in blending it that's so much easier to apply this spray easily this one particular one absorbs really like very quick into your body so there's no chance of getting it sticky or greasy if your um, body doesn't tend to get that dry during the summers you can skip on this you can first try the smaller one and then you can get the bigger one um i've used so much of this and i still use it till date it comes to plum i think that body care is something that i'm more interested in okay i have a fragrance favorite of course i have to have one in each of my monthly favorites uh, uh this time i have the bath and body works champagne toast fragrance now this is the smaller travel size one i got this during the uh i think i got this during their sale um so i got this for 300 350 rupees so wait for those sales i'm not going to lie i did not like the first time i smelled it when i got it like the very first day i did not like it um and i kind of regretted it but fragrances which are out of my comfort zone is something that have always grown on me i have a lot of fragrances that i hated in the first place but then i've like used it and i've grown to like you know i've gotten used to the fragrance and this is one of them it definitely comes off strong so if you don't like strong fragrances which is one of the reasons i didn't like it because i really like mild and very subtle fragrances this one is a little bit strong kind of overwhelmed me i'm going to put the notes over here for your reference uh if i had to describe this it is a very very fruity fragrance very very fruity matlab straight up fruity like a fruity cocktail um it's fruity but it's spicy so it has a little bit of twist in it which i feel it's very very unique a very juicy fragrance if that makes sense um it kind of in my opinion it kind of when it dries down on your skin it kind of smells like the pure seduction by victoria secret i have used that before and the dry down is kind of similar to that so if you don't like fruity fragrances you are not going to like this it settles like very subtle on your skin and i like it so now we have different body chemistries that I, that is what i have understood we have different body chemistries and what lasts on me will not last the same on you this lasts 
for me uh, longer than the other Bath and Body Works mist that I have. This had to go in my March favorites for me. Done with body care, let's come to skincare. Now this Foxtail, this is not a new product. I've used this, like I've been using this since last year. This is the Foxtail's Daily Do It um, Hydrating Cleanser. First of all, can I say that um, I really like the fragrance of this this is so it's very sweet and refreshing um comes from a person who does like not like fragrance in their skincare if i have gotten to a place where i do not like fragrance in my skincare um it automatically turns me off this is something that's supposed to remove your makeup and also works as a normal cleanser i don't recommend this using uh, using just this, to, just this to remove your makeup, especially heavy makeup. If you just have sunscreen, a little bit of mascara and lipstick and all of that, you can use this. But if you have like a full-on concealer, blush, foundation, all of that, I would recommend you always double cleanse. This is such a beautiful, mild cleanser. It does not strip off my skin. It does not lather a lot, but it's very creamy also, you know. I've been using this through in my makeup removal routine um sometimes i use it as a normal cleanser also it also like cleans your skin really well so you can go ahead and give this a try um i also have a coupon code with them so you can get it for even like less of a price last we're coming to the end and i have two sunscreen favorites if you know you already know this I'll just say one thing you cannot go wrong with these two sunscreens the dot and keys vitamin c super bright sunscreen a sunscreen that i use every single day kid you not i use this more than the pink one that they have it takes time in blending um but it's beautiful it's so good if you have oily skin if you have dry skin if you have normal combination acne prone skin this is going to work for everybody if you have dry skin you might want to use a moisturizer underneath but sometimes i just go with this and it works pretty fine between best sunscreen ever for summers if you want more information more detailed review of this i'm going to link a video i've done very recently on sunscreens the second one is the beauty of Josen, um sun relief sunscreen a lot of you have recommended me dupes for this I have come down to one sunscreen um i'm gonna try it out first and then i'll let you know such a beautiful formulation man i have not seen a beautiful formulation than this in any sunscreen blends in seconds so good for dry skin so so good for dry skin whenever i use this i don't use any kind of moisturizer i don't need any kind of moisturizer it does the job of both the moisturizer sunscreen um and also i like to use this when i have to put on makeup if i have to go out when i'm just at home i'll use this so depends on like what i'm feeling but two of the best sunscreens that i've tried last month i have some coupon codes with for some of these products uh, you can go ahead and use them uh, it is applicable on their like individual websites only um it's an affiliated code so if you want to you can use it it's going to give you like an extra discount and i get like a very teeny tiny portion of it as a commission so like i sound like a broken record at this point but i have to give this a mention i just want to mention it okay i'm not going to talk about it a lot because i think i've spoken about this in almost like my past if you watch my past three four videos i have mentioned this somehow this is the advanced sale 96 mucin power since by cosarex what a product man this is like magic in a bottle for me i've used so much of it i use this every day these are the products that have like the best i've ever used like my skin has been the best that has that it has ever been touch wood all the products that i'm share, sharing with you this one has a big role in that the sunscreen the other sunscreens these have made my skin so much better yeah my skin's never been better so wanted to give this just a shout out please try it please try it that's all i'll say i was like really um confused if i want to mention these products again but i was like what the hell i use it in my everyday routine so might as well just oh god i almost ended i was almost about to end this video without talking about a tv show okay i have one show that i watched only watched in the last month uh, um it's how i met your mother i don't know what it took me so long to watch that show actually i have tried watching that before but it had a very slow start so i kind of didn't watch it but it's so good it is my favorite uh, friends is here for me and how i met your mother is here for me it comes like very very close if not equal like my heart was so full when i like when that show ended um it has so many beautiful moments so many 
beautiful things you have to watch it i'm not going to give it away but you have to watch it it's very emotional it's very heartfelt and if you are a softy you're going to love it if your taste is like really sitcoms and really comedy shows that has a little bit of you know that or oh, kind of moments to it you are going to love the show so we're not going to talk about the ending because i have a different kind of a theory in my head for that but watch that show i also have this one book recommendation i'm not a very like big reader um but i'm a very big self help book reader because god knows i need it i really just love the smell of books this is a 101 essays that will change the way you think and it actually changes your whole perspective and the way you think and trust me it helps it helps a lot if you've been going through something if you're struggling which i feel all of us are in our own ways i think if you are in your 20s this is going to make a lot of sense so yeah a very good read if you want and yeah that is it for today's video i hope i really hope you guys enjoyed watching it i hope you found something for yourself that you would want to try something new um thank you so much for being here i love you guys a lot a lot a lot and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye